Good evening, Mayor and members of the Council. For the record, this is Barbara Hanna, Communications and Marketing Director for the City of Squim. At the June 22nd, 2020 City Council meeting, the Council passed a resolution condemning discrimina discrimination and racism and directed staff to open up community conversations on those topics. Following national and local events, several members of the community had contacted the city manager and or the police chief and expressed an interest in helping to develop the conversations. Those community members, along with volunteer city staff, worked together to develop the community conversations on race, equity, and inclusion, and held two public meetings via Zoom on Saturday, March 20th and Tuesday, March 23rd. Both meetings had approximately 55 to 60 participants. We appreciate that a number of the city council members and other community leaders were able to attend. We asked four questions at the community conversations. These questions came from a model developed by the Western Regional Manager of the Government Alliance for Race and Equity, otherwise known as GARE. And we like them because they are broad and aspirational. The questions are, how do you feel SQUIM is doing as it relates to equity and inclusion? What do you envision for our city in 20 years related to equity and inclusion? How do we create a more inclusive city? And how does our community want to be involved in this work? The conversations were focused on the SQUIM community and not the city of SQUIM as an organization. Following the community conversations, the committee reviewed what we heard and broke the input into six themes. The first theme has to do with the meetings themselves. The purpose of the meetings was to collect information from the community, and we heard a lot of excitement and gratitude in the community for the conversations. People were excited to talk about this. We also heard that they wanted continued conversations, that this should not just be a, that this should be a continued effort and not just a one and done effort. We heard that this is community work and not just the work of the city. We need to share what we learned with other community organizations that can have a positive impact the school district, OMC, Peninsula College, Knowles, and the Jamestown Slalom Tribe as examples. The big question remains, who takes charge and how does the city support these efforts? We heard talk of sustainability and how do we ensure these conversations and progress continues in community leadership, neighborhoods, schools, families, and social circles. The next theme we heard was diversity. A number of people brought up that we actually have a lot of diversity in the community. There is a desire to celebrate and to invite more. Education was a big theme. There is interest in creating ongoing education in the community on racism and honoring diversity. This is not just a school district responsibility, but something that many organizations can get involved in by developing programming for all ages. Denial came up several times. It was said that there is an absence of recognition, recognition of racism in the community. The next theme focuses on policy. Some of the things that we heard was how do we ensure that there's equal access to critical services? We need to encourage safe spaces and policies to honor diversity without isolating specific groups. Affordable housing came up as a way to attract diversity in age, culture, and ethnicity and community leadership showing respect, modeling sensitivity, and being curious. Leadership needs to represent the community and the citizens. And the final theme was safety. We heard some unpleasant stories about the way that some people had been treated in our community. Some people don't feel safe walking down the street. We need to have a community where physical, mental, and emotional safety are experienced. Moving forward, Staff will continue its commitment to reviewing City of Squim policy and code with a lens to correct any possibility of systemic racism and to provide training on anti-discrimination for employees, including City Council boards, commissions, and volunteers. Staff is looking to the Council for direction on how we move forward with supporting the community and continuing conversations and programs regarding race, equity, and inclusion. We do have a few recommendations and are looking for additional input. We recommend the themes and raw notes from these meetings be shared with the Alliance of Institutions first brought together by the city manager in 2020. That group included the North Olympic Library System, Squim School District, Peninsula College, Clallam County, 
the Jamestown Sklallam Tribe, Clallam County PUD, Fire District 3, and the Olympic Medical Center. There are probably other organizations that could be included on that list. It is recommended that this group meet twice a year to discuss and review progress with the, that the institutions are making in this effort. The city via the city manager could serve as a convener in the effort. We also recommend that the themes and raw notes be shared with organizations that the Community Conversations Design Committee reached out to while developing the conversations. These organizations helped us reach out to the people that they serve to encourage participation in the conversations. And finally, we recommend that the City Council continue to explore policies that will provide more opportunity for affordable housing, supporting an inclusive community. And we recognize that this is a priority for the Council. Some of the other possibilities that we need direction from the Council are, explore the possibility of establishing experienced and dedicated resources in equity and inclusion work. One of the questions that was asked was if there's anyone on city staff who has the responsibility in their job description to do this work. The answer is no, but again, this is not just a city responsibility. Perhaps a position could be shared between several organizations in the community to support the work. Next is how do we continue staff involvement with the community conversations design team to develop future conversations. As mentioned, at this point, the work is volunteer supported as no one on staff has this specific expertise or responsibility. The majority of the work has been after hours and on our own time. Another possibility for supporting the community efforts in equity and inclusion work could be through establishing a grant program that organizations or groups could apply for. This could include lodging tax funds if events meet the criteria to bring tourists to SWIM or possibly some funds from the American Rescue Plan to kickstart programs. And finally, the other thing the city might consider is providing space at nowhere minimal cost for organizations that are conducting programs. This might be meetings, conversations, or events that are focused on equity and inclusion. I realize this is a lot of information and I'm happy to answer any questions at the meeting or to open up discussion for council if you feel ready to do that. <laughs> 